Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So somehow integrate integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, before jumping into the reduction formula, we should have a quick glance to see if we can rewrite it as if we can rewrite it as one thing being the exact derivative of another thing. So um, so try and try and rewrite this thing in this form or in this form before jumping to the reduction formula. Because by doing this, we, we will save a lot of time. So let's, let's try and rewrite this in this form. So uh, try and somehow to create a secant squared. So rewrite this secant to the power of 3 as uh, secant squared times this. So now we've got our, our secant squared. But now we need to rewrite this in terms of tan, in terms of all, in terms of tan. But then we've got a secant here. But then we can't turn the secant uh, into a block of 10 because it's to the power of an odd number of 1. If, if it's an even number, then we can make use of this and then turn it into a, uh, into a block of 10. Well, in, in, this, in this case, this cannot be turned into this. So let's, let's, try and, let's try and achieve this one here. So we try and somehow get this thing here from, from these two blocks. So, um, so let's, let's imagine 10 to the power of 3 as 10 squared, and then we've got 10 here, so that will give us 10 to the power of 3, and uh, secant to the power of 3, or that's secant squared times secant. So now if you look at this, this is, uh, is this thing here. And so, so we need to rewrite everything here in terms of secant. But then luckily, this 10, this is to the power of an even number, so we know we can make use of this and turn it. We can turn this block into a secant block. So, so making use of this, we can turn this block into we can turn this block into into this block here. So now you've got your secant squared, secant squared, and the, and then this whole thing here is this. So um, so now you can see that this thing here. Hang on. So now you can see you can see that this thing here, which is this thing here. Now this thing here is all in terms of secant. Everything is in terms of secant. So because this is the exact derivative, because this is the exact derivative of this, then 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 we know um, we know we can use substitution. It would be really easy to integrate because we know that this is a derivative of everything in terms of secant. We know it's going to be easy uh, easy to uh, to integrate. So let u equal secant of x. So this will. Uh, if u equals secant of x, then du equals this whole thing here. So now uh, this whole thing here is exactly the same as this. So we can put this into into this whole thing here. So that will give us this. And then uh, secant squared is actually u squared and, uh, and u squared here. So it's really a matter of us integrating this. So this would be easy now. So this times this will give us this. This times this, that will then give us this integrate it and your final answer will be this okay